Hello everybody, Targal here and welcome back to another episode of Bebo's Tech Pack here on the FTOG community server. Uh, first, I wanted to say thank you everybody. Your support and likes and the views also on episode 1 are out of this world. I was really happy to see that. Um, it's one of my best uh, videos on uh, day 1 after scheduling and I'm so excited. And it's awesome because A, I love the server, I love playing with all of you guys, and also the pack is really cool and fun so far. I think we're gonna have a great season here. Um, but my problem is, I don't know where to start building, right? Um, there's there's so many, so many possibilities and so on that are going on, but I don't just wanna dig into the mountain here, you know, and try to figure something out. So I decided down at the ocean, and I am going to build a bridge, a small bridge, and I'll explain when this is done later of what I plan on doing with it or what what gave me the idea. And I'm going to kind of take that as my my focus point, kind of um, just to give me an indication of where most of the things are going to happen. You know, where do I need to build and so on? So I'm going to go ahead and start a quick time lapse here um, of this bridge build and I'll see you guys right after. I hope you guys liked that little time lapse. It was very short because building this bridge was actually very challenging. Um, you guys see with all the different stairs and so on. And guys, I'm not playing a trick on you. I know it looks way different than it did at the end of the time lapse because I did replace all the stone bricks with abyssal bricks. Um, I was talking with everybody in the area that lives here with us um, about, you know, it looks too plain. I Again, I'm trying to go after a... I guess I'll just tell you the backstory real quick, okay? And also check out what Glitch built over here. I'll show you guys this here once once you had a chance of any, actually finishing the interior and so on. But we're definitely going to take a closer look at that. Um, so this entire valley here, he's got a, a beautiful house over there. Steampunk. You guys can see a few things over here on the side going on with the crane and so on. But again, I'll show you that in the future. So check it out. My my backstory to me here is um, we were uh, an advanced race or something, okay? And right here in this area, I want to build a... Like, you guys know that, that shuttle from Star Trek um, that they always take to go between ships and so on? 
something like that a little bit bigger um and our big spaceship up there had a problem and we had to abandon it you know it went boom or something and we came down here and somewhat crash landed it was a controlled crash landing so i'm not gonna just have pieces everywhere but i want to make it so to build a shuttle here with with like a little bit of the terrain ripped up you know we're, we're kind of slid in the end and dug into the dirt a little bit and now our plan is to you know gather materials um you know sustain life here on this planet um and then eventually to go back into space because you know we got galactic craft and we have so many um of the of the additional planets and galaxies it's nuts there's i don't, I don't know countless planets up there we can go there are even big two ones uh, two planets that have air and the overworld like you know so we can run around without oxygen and so on but those are absolute late game but anyway and my my plan on here is this bridge here connects to well, obviously the land and at the end of the bridge over here eventually right now it's under construction or something okay out here i want to have a big platform you know with with oil pumps and and generators and whatnot and then a little bit higher up we're building a new spaceship right here all right that's the plan and that spaceship is going to be quite big we have planned and that's actually going to be a community effort um, we're all going to build that together because we're going to use that together with this mod here called matter overdrive all right and i i haven't played with it yet but glitch has been telling me really cool things about it and apparently you can you know make a matter overdrive and then actually take that spaceship and go fly to the planets and stuff so that's kind of the plan and over here that's what we're gonna do today um i want to go and dig into the mountain here and then set up like a mine you know where we gather resources and i don't know if we're gonna get to the ore processing and so on um last time i did tell you guys i wanted to start with a new steam mod and that was actually gonna be um flaxbeard steam thingamajiggy here steam power but the problem is, I, I think I'm going to do a few things with it. There's a few toys that I might not mind having. For example, the steam hammer is like an anvil. And we might even take a look at some of this exo... Um, where is it? Right here. The steam exo suit. Just for fun, right? But this does not have ore doubling or anything. So, And it also blows up very easily. So to me, it's a very fun little mod that I want to play with these rocket launchers and so on. But I changed my mind. I'm not going to do ore processing with it. We're going to have to figure out a different way. I don't know if we're going to get to it today, but I doubt it. Because I want to make this mineshaft here first with you guys. I had so many things to show you guys. Um, nothing, you know, game-changing or whatever. But I went to a roguelike dungeon here yesterday. And honestly, this armor right here is super easy. I died once in there. I, I barely took any damage, even if I was ganged on um, by multiple zombies and skellies and stuff. But I had a mighty zombie, a baby zombie, come up to me and one hit me. I was at full life. He just owned me. So, but overall, the, the roguelike dungeon was very easy for me to clear. Okay, I got tons of redstone, nether quartz, diamonds, emeralds, everything. I got, I got emeralds. I got 21 emeralds. And these two I haven't even processed yet. So... We're doing really good on materials and also been on top of steel production. You guys see I got 188.5 um, creosite and oh, there's another stack of steel. Um, I, of course, I needed a lot of steel on that bridge, all the decorations and cables, which I didn't even show you. Sorry, uh, I'll we'll run back there in a minute again when I show you the mine entrance. How's that? But between episodes, I made this giant smeltery because I wanted something to just process my ore. Okay. I filled up an entire lava drum uh, in the in the in the nether or in our nether-like world, and I used whoops right here. I used this thing here, the hand pump from pressure pipes. You just have the barrel and you just right-click the lava and you just suck it all up. Um, and this is what I used to process all my ore. Um, I got you know tons of osmium, lead, iron. I have some again, luckily. Um, you guys see, I did a lot of mining. Um, copper. Where's the tin? Down here's the tin. Still have a little bit over two stacks of steel now. But anyway, um, I just wanted this, but all I do is use it for. I haven't made any casts or anything. If I need any weapons and stuff made, down here in that little fort, which is going to go away soon. Um, Mike set up a smeltery with all the casts and so on. And today I actually made this pickaxe, manilium. And all I did was the silky. I, I wanted silk touch because my other one... 
This one right here, guys, remember I showed you this last time that I get efficiency in auto smelt and soul bound on it. I actually enchanted another egg, pickaxe and got fortune three and combined them. This thing is amazing. Now. When I break any kind of stone with the fortune, it gives me two smelted of it. So two smooth stone. Or like you guys can see here, this is all from one abyssal meteor out in the ocean. Every one I break, I get two of these already smelted. If I break ingots, like an iron uh, ore, I get three ingots back. So I got to repair it. But for now, I just want this uh, silk touch pick right here. And that is good. So, oh yeah. And Mike also made us all a dirt stick and a mana tablet. Um, that's all I really need from Botania this time. Um, we're going to go a little bit more techy. I, I decided. Because, you know, we want to travel to space. Hey, door, may I come in? Thank you. So let me show you how I'm going to make the TNT. I told you I went to this roguelike dungeon, cleared it completely, and I made a little spawner down here. Let me turn on the light right here. I did that last night. Um, I decided not to do it on camera because it's such a simple spawner and it's temporary. This is going to go away probably within a couple of weeks here into an actual spawner setup. But all this is here is a dark room. And there's these conveyor belts from extra utilities pushing everything against these iron spikes. And I got to be careful because this pushes me around. And in the middle here, you guys see there's a wooden chest. Excuse me, Enderman. There's a wooden chest with an advanced item collector on it. So you guys are going to see this Enderman die in a second. And you see, Ender Pearl is gone, was sucked in. And underneath, I simply have item ducts. With a servo, and it's pulling it out, and you guys are gonna see that come up here in just a second into these two chests. Um, because I'm not worried, I'm I, I don't really want to have you know mass amounts of things here. There's the ender pro coming. This is all I've collected so far. I have a enderman spawner you see in there, a spider, and I've also brought a creeper and a witch. I was so surprised when I surprised when I saw the witch. Because I didn't know there's witch spawners if you don't have witchery. But down in that roguelike dungeon was one. So that was a super nice find. And of course, got a little redstone and glowstone. I let it run earlier. And tons of gunpowder. And that is what I need for my TNT. Now wait a second. Does it take 4 to 5 sand? No, 5 to 4 sand. Alright, so 5 stacks perfectly. That's all I need. I'm letting this run for glitch right now. Because he needs some ender pearls for... I, I don't know, for something... And I throw away all the armor and stuff that I find here. Just the armor right there. But I'm keeping these soul bound. When there's a soul bound one. Because I can strip that later with Mind Factory and keep it. So that's it. It's a very simple setup. Um, and all it costs you is iron and redstone pretty much. That's all this costs. And it's right underneath my workshop. So it's loaded whenever I'm upstairs. And I don't hear it. So that's really good. Alright. Let me take a breath. Um, now. What I like to do here first before we go to blow up stuff is I want to make a few things to get us started with the tech. Um, actually, let me two, three, four. Let's go ahead and make this TNT real quick. Um, so I get all this out of my bag. So there we got 64 and I should have a flint and steel. No. No flint and steel. What happened? Oh, yeah, I never made another portal, so I don't have a flint and steel. So let me get one. One, let's make that also real quick. So I have it for our excavation. And I'll show you in a minute what we're going to use this for. Now, what I would like to do here first is I want to fly. Okay? Because this bridge build was quite a pain in the butt to do without flight. And we got mechanism. Everybody loves mechanism, so we're going to use it. Um, and I want to make... Um, today... Where is it? Right here. I want to make the armored jetpack. And the free runners, and I also want to make a gas mask and the scuba tank. Okay, but in order to make all of this stuff, we're gonna need well, not this is a bad example right here. You guys see this enriched alloy and the, the basic circuits right here, they're all made in a metallurgic infuser. So that is what you need to start with first. So, right here, we're gonna make our metallurgic infuser. And power wise, I decided to go with two steam dynamos. I looked at all the generators. And most of the Sterling generator and so on, they make 20 RF, some other ones like the, um, whatchamacallit, the generator, 
This one right here makes 40 RF, the furnace generator. The ender generator only makes 30 RF a tick, but these guys make 80 RF a tick, okay? And well, I got unlimited charcoal and I got a water source set up right here. I made an igneous extruder, the hardened version, because I wanted to have smooth stone because I thought I'm going to use more snooze stone, but now I'm mostly going to use abyssal stone, but it's not bad to have, right? And is this the upgraded one with one augment? So it makes six, eight at a time. You see right there. But I got a water source down here. One of these infinite water sources right there. And that's what we're going to use for the steam generation also. So why don't we get started with that? Um, hopefully I have enough. 39 item ducts. Where is my... We have four temperate fluid ducts. Hopefully it's enough. If not, I'll make more. And let's set that up. Oh yeah, there's one other thing I made right here. Of course, for the leadstone energy conduits. And I also wanted to make a crescent hammer. So we have a wrench. Good. Now we are set to go. Let me go ahead and break this stuff out. So I have an easier time getting down there. Because I'd like to have the, the conduits run the, the, these guys right here. Let's place them real quick. Uh... How am I going to do that? Yes, I can. Right there, I want the two dynamos. So I can actually come right there. Perfect. Um, can I pick this up? Give it to me. All right, let's go ahead and come over, up. Well, okay. Like. Oh, that's not going to work because I need, I need them one higher. Hmm, the smeltery is in my way. <laughs> I guess the only other way I can do it is if I put the, the dynamos down here, but then how am I going to put charcoal in them? I guess I need to put it up here. There's just no way around it. And if I am not missed, let me disconnect this here. I think that just takes two copper, if I'm not mistaken, right? And a glass, yes. Very easy to make. Let's go ahead and craft these up real quick. Damn, got it. All right, that should be enough. So now I can come up. Why would you put water in there? No, don't do that, you knucklehead. Oh, come on. Now I got water in here. Ah. <laughs> I'll suck that out in a minute. It only connected because there is a, uh, a drain there. Cool. So now let's put these two guys here. And I don't want to automate much in here, guys. I just... What? No, you know, that's the wrong way, buddy. Maybe if I place this down first. Like that. You're going to connect? Yes, there we go. Oh, give me the second one. And they should both be filling with water. Full. Full. We can close this and that. Perfect. And then I'm probably going to make some facades or something. But who really cares? And then... <laughs> I am going to also get this guy involved. What's the output on this? I wonder if there's a, ma there a max output. Don't know. I guess we'll see. Hopefully it's not going to slow me down. But I could just put this in here, actually. Um, If I want to charge any tools or something. Let's do that, huh? Let's turn this. Nah, let's just go bypass it. Perfect. And I'll leave the, I leave the, this area empty in case I want to hook up like another dynamo or something. And that is it. So let's put this like that again. And we're going to start right here with this guy, the metallurgic infuser. Um, let's make this a little nicer here and put that in there and right there. I think that's good enough. We're not going to stay in this hobbit hole for too long, so it's okay. And smooth stone, I always have to throw away. I don't want to keep any extra. So what do we need to make here? We need to make, let's go back to mechanism. We're going to need to make a bunch of these, these parts here. And that's what I'm going to do real quick. It's going to take a few minutes to make them. This takes redstone and osmium, and this guy takes redstone and iron. All right. So I'm just 
gonna make in bulk guys honestly i'm gonna make 32 of these 32 of these with a stack of this later on we can save some of the redstone but i have so much redstone i'm really not worried um this gives us 10 each let's start with that so that is 320 what's happening oh hey yeah i'm gonna need to give these guys some charcoal hey give it to me give me give me give me give me thank you so let's put this guy in here and this guy and this is probably instantly almost full where's the power over here turn off ai because these guys both make 80 rf a tick 160 rf a ticks and this is very good i think and what i like a lot about these steam dynamos is they stop when everything is filled and nothing needs power anymore and they also they just have 40,000 rf but anyways so let me cook all this up here actually no let me show you what we're gonna do with the tnt while this cooks how's that i want to kind of have a somewhat natural hip well it's not really natural if you go strip mining right but i don't want to have just a straight tunnel in okay that's why i kind of came out curved here i want to build a little bit more curved and diagonal because everything straight is is not as good looking i'm gonna say okay so i'm gonna tunnel in like this way right there um so that is northeast somewhat in a 45 degree angle but we're gonna start right here fire in the hole it's probably gonna destroy some of the spruce even little delay e to allow what to allow explosives to destroy blocks on this claim use claim explosions explosions uh okay <laughs> apparently the grief prevention thought i not supposed to do that which is fine i'm gonna have to let the guys know to be careful here all right there we go and you see it's it's gonna make a mess but that's fine i don't care about any of the blocks here and we're gonna go right there place another one and just have fun with tnt a little bit come on bam you guys see i'm just gonna go ahead and tunnel in like this now until i feel like i have a somewhat good looking mine shaft and by that time yeah i gotta get away from here <laughs> by that time i should have all the other parts done so we can make a few more machines and get our jetpack going i'll brbs all right all these things here processed in no time and i did a lot of digging and I want to make, right now, just this electrolytic separator first to get it going. And I'm going to need three of these tanks, two for the jetpack. Why don't we just make all of that to get it out of the way? I think it goes like that. Yep. I can't make the armored upgrade yet because that's going to require some diamond dust. And I'm going to need a, a crusher first. Um, we'll make that in a little while here. Um... And the other thing we can make is the boots. We're going to need energy tablets. And put that like that. Now, the cool thing about the free runners is that, again, this is mostly going to be, you know, building and so on. I don't really do much killing anymore now that I cleared the Rook Deck Dungeon and I got everything. So, but these uh, negate all fall damage and they give you step hill, uh, uphill step assist and stuff like that. These right here, we can already charge in this cube um now this guy right here i had to run the water line a little crooked here but that's fine we'll put right here and that makes us hydrogen and oxygen the hydrogen we'll need for the jetpack and the oxygen we're gonna need for the scuba gear and now i actually want to find out here real quick let's see that is under thermal dynamics what's the structure pipe take just lead and iron nuggets let's go ahead and make some of these real quick um iron let's make enough of this and two lead let's go ahead and make these because i i'm i'm gonna need to cover somehow so to make structural duct like that let's check here i'm gonna need let's make how many does this make oh this makes six wow okay that's more than i'll need right now but we can put 
cover right there and a cover right there and now we're gonna take these two tanks here and place one right here and that should fill with the hydrogen because that comes out the left and right here we're gonna fill this one with oxygen and i th think that as idle dumping no 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 dumping excess that's what i want um because the thing is that if one of these gets full then this let's see the oxygen and the oxygen fills and then once that is full then the hydrogen will stop producing okay so it's always going to go out to both of them the hydrogen here and the oxygen here and i'm going to dump this guy in here it's going to probably take a long time until this charges a very long time five of 100 but that's fine um i remember it having a pretty good um whatchamacallit uh, it lasted quite a long time once you have it full it's not bad so let's go ahead and make this gas mask right here i've never used them and let's make the scuba tank also one of them and i do want to test those out and the scuba tank i can put in here and let this charge this gas mask doesn't need anything apparently and let's see here the runners are full very cool let's put those on already i did enchant these and got haste and unbreaking um but it's okay we don't need it and i'm also gonna take off this already and i made the big backpack guys um i put the spiders down on the bottom to get more string and that is it's, it's twice the size you guys see i would have been full um it's actually quite cheap to make it costs you 16 leather and um what is it called back back there we go and eight times seven 56 string just like that and you get this bound letter and you cook it up and then you just put it in a circle like that and you get the bigger version unfortunately you cannot put the smaller one and the bigger one so i retired the smaller one i had somewhere in here uh right there <laughs> i got so much gobbledygook guys it's not it's unreal so now that this is going i came around with the power all the way because i didn't know how to put it through here any any better so, but now i can close all this off and it's all gone i like it doesn't bother me that we see this and over here let's see if i might have everything on me so i don't need to cut again mechanism I'd like to make this enrichment chamber. Um, yep. Yeah. Oh, I miss osmium. Here we go. We got plenty of that. Go ahead and make. It's probably gonna need two. I'm gonna. I want to make the enrichment chamber, the crusher, and the smelter. So I'm gonna need three of them. Okay. So let's make three of these. I love this addition over here actually a lot. It's really cool. Now let's make oh what am I missing here? Um I should have everything. I'm pretty sure I have everything. What's happening? Okay, um Oh, this is just iron. Okay. Well, cheaper than I thought. Because I thought everything pretty much requires steel in this pack. Even Mike just told us that uh, making mana steel costs actual steel. There we go. So we got the enrichment chamber. We want the crusher. We need two buckets. No problem. We have plenty of lava over here. Oh, we're getting a lot of stuff done today. I'm happy about that. Because I, I want to do a lot of building in this uh, series, you know, because the pack isn't that hard. Um, and, you know, I'd like to automate the world. <laughs> you guys know me. Um, but I want to get to flight quick and so on because it's just so much easier. Um, we were thinking about getting the angel wing in, but then I said, no, you know what? I'm not going to do it because here, give it to me and the last one. Because, I don't know, there's no rush. Um, I kind of want to stay with tech, like I, I mentioned earlier. Um, and I'm going to set this up that way. I want to have the enrichment chamber and the energized smelter like this. I guess I can put this one right next to it. It doesn't matter. Because if I want some automated output up here, it should work. But let's go ahead and set this up. 
or automation output is to the right perfect and we're gonna set it to auto check red is in who's out what is even green i don't know but we don't need it so let's unset this so i can have an input but i don't think they auto pull no they won't that would have to make something else but i'm not too worried about automation honestly um so actually input is left and i'm gonna have output on the top in case i want to put a chest up here or whatever and this guy is gonna have everything um and auto eject is off on this one because i am not right now let's test this out let's get let's see what do we have what so we can process some of this ore this this um hopper right here of course it's slow but i really don't care that much I just want to see if it actually works. You know what? Let's just do half a stack because I won't be able to hold more than one stack in here anyway. There we go. Copper dust. Perfect. So now, what did we need for the armored jetpack? It's probably one more page. There we go. The armored jetpack. We needed two bronze, a block of steel, and two diamond dust. All right. Get two diamond dust going All right in here. Oh, we're doing on the charge over here. Probably far from done yet. And he, this guy too. Um, but we are struggling with power actually. Hmm, I make a hundred. How much does this need? Ooh, 240 RF a tick. That's why. Ah, let's check something here real quick. Um, sorry, I get the sidetracked. What does this cost you? Energy upgrade. It just makes gold dust, glass, and these. Let's go ahead and make that actually. Don't have any more gold. Let's go with four. Oh, I had some gold on me. All right, enough of this. Auto we checked off. Go ahead and let's just make four for right now. And this is going. It's fine. I don't need to make any any ore ingots right now. So let's let's stay on track here. So we can make some energy upgrades. And all I need is this and the glass. I have that on me. Good. And armor jetpack. I said I need two bronze. What's gonna be the easiest way for us to make bronze? I'm gonna say let's go with five of you and five of you. Put that in here. Turn this for off for the moment and let's just make it in here. I still have that water in there. <laughs> I'll take that out later. I'm just gonna break the controller and pick it up. Um this is done. Yes, perfect. And you almost. Alright. This is gonna take a second. Um alright, let's take another look here real quick. I wouldn't mind even making this guy today. Let's see. Right, these ones require compressed obsidian that make like that. Uh, I can crush obsidian. All right, we can do this. But this guy here needs an osmium compressor. Okay, what does it take to make this guy? Osmium compressor. Oh, it takes the upgraded ones. All right, so I might not be able to make these energy upgrades just yet. Actually, what does it take to make this again? What? 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 Short-term memory is horrible. <laughs> uh, iron and redstone. All right, so let's make another 32. And another 32. But I can actually show you guys something. We're actually going to make 30. Check this out. Oh, I need to crush these. You can't put them in the enrichment chamber. There we go. But I can put for 30. I'm going to need three of these if my memory serves me right. If you put redstone, that, that enriched obsidian, coal, or diamond in here, then it will actually make us this strip here. Check it out. One of these gives you 10. But when I put one of these in the metallurgic infuser, it gives us 100. So I save nine redstone doing it this way. And I'm gonna make a few more of these, um, what are they called? 
enriched alloys. Almost done. You are done. Okay, how are we doing on the bronze over here? Oh yeah, I forgot that this is not a um one to one ratio. How many is this here? Thirteen ingots. Let's make one block real quick. That's enough. Um and I'm trying to not have any death's time here. So we got these two. Let's put them over here to keep them going. And let's get three. Then I have 20 over here. And this gold is probably done now. Perfect. But we're in here. There we go. So three of them. Let's go ahead and make the energy upgrades real quick. Bada bing, bada bang. Yeah, let's make four of them. And put those in here. And let's... Pay attention here. Right now it's 240. Um, disable upgrades. Where where are these upgrades now? Where do you put upgrades? Ah, there we go. Oh, there's one. I just want to see how far it goes down for one. 240. Hello? Nothing? Energy? I don't understand. I thought that this is <laughs> gonna cost us less energy. I don't see a difference. So it says four of eight, effect 3.16. Does that just mean... Wait, did I make... I made energy. Increases energy efficiency and capacity of the machine. I have no idea if what this now did. See, like on the digital miner, you actually see the power going down. Can these guys now keep up? No. And no. I don't know what's happening, guys. I'm not I'm not sure what the what that is. Maybe I'm reading this wrong. If you guys know, please let me know. I don't know if this is filling any faster or not. Alright, anyway, we should have oops, right there. We have our bronze now. And we have everything else, I think. Turn on any eye again. Nope. Jetpack the armored one down here. I still need to make a block of steel. That's easy. And we should have everything else. Besides the jetpack, of course. I oh, I wonder if it's going to keep the charge or it needs to start again. But it's fine. Uh, shoot. Hey, come on. Taking a little bit. Where did I put it? Right there. What happened to the jetpack? <sighs> I don't like when that happens. That scares me. All right. There, it does keep the charge. Very cool. All right. I want to take this for a spin. So we got that right there. Now I wonder... I also want to take this guy for a spin real quick. The... This tank. I wonder, is there a... There's something under mechanism. G I J Mechanism. Armor mode switch. Alright, I'm gonna switch that to button 5. Item mode, I don't care. Done. Done. Back to game. Yeah, you heard it on the bottom left. Regular. Hover. Disable. Very cool. And again. No fall damage. And I got... Uh, uphill step assist, yes. And hover mode. It's not fast, but honestly, it doesn't bother me because if I want to get somewhere fast, I use the glider. And I go to regular mode, fly up, open the glider, and I can, you know, zoom. But it's really cool for when you, when you need to build something, like up here. This would have been so helpful, guys. I fell into this water so many times. But now, while we're over here, Let's take a look at this bridge a little more in detail. Again, out here is going to be a big platform. How exactly? I don't know yet. Um, and you guys see, it cost me a lot of steel to make this. Um, these connectors, the scaffolding, the cables, and defenses. It's actually quite expensive. Um, let me show you. It takes steel, six ingots for six pieces of fence. Um, because you got to make these. It takes six for two. Right? And you get four 
out of two steel ingots. So if you take six, you're going to get 12, which makes you two sets. So for six ingots, you get four pieces of steel, which is a little expensive, but hey, it was worth it. There's more up here and so on. And I really like this bridge. So now let me show you guys the mining tunnel that I made here with the TNT. I still have... Um, it's in this bag. I still have 15 left. I used a lot. <laughs> um, and I don't know yet. I didn't want to take out more right here. I am probably going to widen it a little more. But uh, most importantly is this in here. I kind of wanted this to open up. I think I'm going to lower it a little bit here. I, I think I want to get at this level. So you come down like three steps. And this is kind of the level. But over here I did a thing which I think turned out pretty cool. This is all made by me. I, I did two towers, one all the way to down there. And how you do this is you do TNT, dirt, TNT, dirt, and all the way back up. So you make a one hole and then you light the top one and it's a chain reaction. It makes this somewhat, you know, natural looking, whatever this is, rift or something. And that's kind of where I want to have, you know, ladders going down and cranes and whatnot. So down here is where we dig for the goods. Okay. Um, yeah. But I'm, we're not doing anything here today. Hopefully next episode we're going to start setting up some kind of an ore processing in here. I don't want to have a building for that. Um, like the beginning ore processing. And I don't want to use, you know, like thermal expansion or something. Don't get me wrong. We're going to have all those machines, of course. But I don't want to use them for regular ore processing. There is too many other fun mods with magnetic craft and immersive engineering. That I want to get started with those. ASAP. So... Like I said, there is one more thing. What, what was I waiting for to make? Uh, oops, don't turn it off. I was wanting to make this other thing here. The atomic disassembler. And you know, oh, sorry, before I forget, we were going to test out the water gear. Let's test that out real quick. I'm so happy I got a jetpack now. And it's techy and it looks really cool too. Check it out. I mean, this is a cool looking jetpack. I like it. Let's put on the scuba gear. I've never used it. It does look like it has some kind of a look at how cool this looks. This looks so awesome. Does it have lights on the side? Let's see what's up here underwater. But I don't see any better than normal, I think. No. Oh, mode off, on. Off, on. So, wait a second. If I turn it off, let's see here real quick. 64.94. I'm going to wait until I get down to something, right? Um, and let's turn it on. Ah, it fills. Okay, now let's check. 61.88. Oh, that takes quite a bit. So you can't really... Wow, that sucks it down fast. Holy shnikes. All right. Well, that's good to know, but it's nice. Uh, at least I have something. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm old school. I, I just do the torch trick and done. <laughs> or you do the water bucket. But it's nice to have. I want to be techie. We're going to have space suits and everything. So let's get back up here. Oh, I got... Let's take this off. Put the regular helmet on. I'm actually going to put this in here. And I don't need the glider. All right, let's get up there. And let's see if we can make this atomic disassembler. That would be really cool if we get that also. To I, I would feel that we then have everything we need to get going. And guys, I want a, a digital miner quite early. I don't want to do the same thing that I did in Infinity where I set myself these goals. That In Infinity, my goal is that I don't want to do a quarry. That was one of my things. Uh, the other one was not mixing power. And it's really hard, honestly. Whoops, right here. I said I needed the... Yes, I remember now. That other thing here. The osmium compressor. This guy right there. And we needed to make these. So I need two of these. And I'm going to need another of these machine casings. One. And... Whoops. Right there. Should have the rest. Bam! How good was that? Awesome. Well, magnet eventually, guys. <laughs> And this guy, we're going to set everything off. Okay. And now for this one, we're going to need to make some, um, this refined obsidian. So, well, actually, let's see how many do we need. 
I'm gonna guess I will only need one. Because I'm gonna be able to do that strip trick. Whatever that is. Um, where is it? Right there. So I'm gonna need five of these, which requires five of these, which requires five of these plus diamond. So do I need to put a diamond? Or the dust. Let's go. I'm gonna make ten of them. So I'm gonna need to make more of those, which I have done, right? Perfect. Very cool. So let me crush a diamond. Matter of fact, guys, uh, let me get everything together. You saw me watch, or you watched me make all this stuff. I'm gonna show you guys. Oops, wrong one. Come on, open up, please. Probably saving or something right now. There we go. I'm gonna just show you guys this one with the diamond. Hello? How are we doing on power now, by the way? It still cannot keep up. I guess I can put this guy in here so it can fill up. And also this guy so it can fill up. How much can they hold? Well, that's not going to be enough to fill it up, but close. So this is done, and now we can take that and put it into the enrichment chamber. And then it's going to make me one of these strips. And that strip I needed for making this stuff right here the enriched alloy so i'm gonna use 10 of these to make full use of the uh what <laughs> wait you put this guy in here all right uh, apparently you you can make diamonds out of that dust again and now this one will probably turn into that strip i hope it does but don't put it in the crusher a uh, little mistake on my part all right, there we go. Now I can put this in here and make 10 of these. And like I said, off camera real quick, I'm going to make this refined obsidian, which, ooh, I only need one. So I'm actually gonna take one of these out. Yeah. Wait, I, uh, what? This doesn't go in here, it goes in here. Knuckle hit. So I gotta crush one obsidian to get this refined obsidian and the rest, I think we have everything. So I messed this up. I, I, I didn't make enough of this uh, refined obsidian here. So I had to make another diamond, but I'm gonna leave this in here. And then after I'm done recording, I think I'm gonna just make more of that. Cause I know we need a lot of this for, um, actually, let me put this in here. We need a lot of those for the portals and stuff. I might as well just fill these. So now that we got this, we put that in here, that up there, right? And that makes us that obsidian ingot. I already got the five atomic alloys. And I was chatting, just chatting with the peeps on TeamSpeak and they're having the same here. It's funny because it started at 240 RF attack needing 95,000 or something like that. The needing, I think, is to fill this here. That's why that number went up. Um, but there is no change otherwise. So we don't know if you can't go lower than the base value or if it's just disabled or something. I have no idea. But there we got this one. Awesome. Now let's make our atomic disassembly. I'm super excited. Oh, I still need this guy. One, I should say. Give me that back. And it's not going to be able to... Auto click no because of that energy tablet there but we can just do this by hand you you yay i love that tool it's so cool i'm gonna show you guys in a second in case you're not familiar with what it does and i also wanted to check capacitor in a box here we go let's see real quick this one holds 100,000. How much does this guy hold? 300,000. So I would definitely have to go with an MV that holds a million. That costs an MV capacitor, which is... Uh, okay, so we're going to have... I think I'll do that next episode or between or something. So I have a little storage with me, but I'm not far away from the base here while I build anyway. And I just want to show you guys real quick. Jetpack filled, by the way. And I turned off the tanks with the with the idle. I just set them all to idle when they're full because I'm guessing that when um, when when everything is full, that thing is still going to keep going. And I totally forgot. I need to also change 
Mechanism, the mechanism item switch mode. Oh, brr. what am I going to switch that to? Um, F? Um, wait a second. Oh, it's just right click. All right, so I can unset this one here. I don't know what this one is for. It might be for the wrench or something. I don't like to keep buttons uh, with anything that I don't know what they're doing. So let's see here. We got vein off. That is normal. That's the normal one right here. You see, it's quite fast. Um, and then shift right click. We got slow. I think that just is for fine. I like it actually. When you work around machines or something, you can. It's still very fast. Holy shnikes. All right. And then fast, of course. Let's come over here because I want to clean up here anyway. You see, it's just it's fast. That's what it does. It also is a really good weapon, by the way. You see that? I think... Uh, let's see if it shows... It doesn't show, but I think it does like 12 attack damage or something like that. Alright, and then the last one, of course, is Vein. That's what I really want to show you guys. If you have never seen it, there's a Vein right here. You hit it and you get it all at once. So that's a really, really nice mining tool. I'm going to have it mostly on normal. Um, that is it. So guys... Um, we got lots of stuff done today and it wasn't what i actually wanted to do what i thought last episode i wanted to like i told you guys uh, start with the steam and so on but that's just gonna have to wait until next time and i am going to probably build this um i think i'm a jiggy here the the shuttle the lander the escape pod whatever i want to build here i'm not sure yet and it's gonna be right down here um it's probably gonna start the trail of destruction somewhere here like right here and then it's just gonna crater here a little bit and then sit right about here i think that's gonna be a good spot this over here goes away so let me just show you guys ah you know what while we're here i can also show you the house over here They're building like crazy but that's just that beginner hole right here hole beginner fort which is actually quite nice but he put this in this is not real tnt guys um this is stone slabs painted but it's condemned so we know that you know it's going away soon um, and yeah, check out this building. I really like the, I like the whole building, but I, he's done a lot of decorating over here already. With, they're actually all functional, these water mills. He's getting not much, but I think over 100 RF a tick out of these. Um, and it's nice, you know, because it's steampunk. Really cool. This crane here is nice. And he's built another thing just now. I actually have not seen it. He was building, there it is. That's gonna be his charcoal production i think that he wants he's gonna do a lot with steam also and up there by the way on this little ridge right there is where mike set up the botania area yeah it looks pretty cool anyways guys hope you enjoyed the episode and uh let me know what you guys think of the backstory and the theme that we're going for and i'll catch you in the next episode take care stay safe and bye bye